Welcome to another tutorial, this time about the Star Wars Legion barriers and how to make them look battle worn. Start off with an unpainted barrier from your core set. Keep in mind that this effect can be achieved throughout all of your terrain pieces and even your vehicles. For this process you need a hobby knife, a hobby drill, several drill bits and some pliers. For a realistic look, you make the barriers look warm from the front side. Start by drilling a hole in the panel. Don't go completely through it and remove any excess plastic. Use the hobby knife to create better looking entry points by simply turning it in circles. Don't be too precise on the round shape. You can of course repeat this process as many times as you like. Another option is to use the knife to create the holes by simply twisting it. You could also go for some claw or scratch markings by cutting into the plastic like this. For the effect to better show, repeat the cuts on the same line. Occasionally change your drill bits for different hole sizes. Here we went for a bullet spray look by focusing the holes in a line. Another great way is to imitate the grenade impact. Create larger holes and cut away pieces of the barrier like shown. Make sure the cuts aren't too clean. These are some example damage barriers. Play around with different ways to show different kinds of damage. Next we primed our walls with Army Painter Skeleton Bone for a Tatooine-esque looking barrier. Once the undercoat is dry, layer some Citadel Agrax Earth Shade onto them. This can be applied very thick, but be wary so that it won't drip toward the bottom. Once the wash is dried, we dry brushed Zendry dust onto the barriers. Make sure to wipe any excess paint off your brush on a piece of paper. Keep adding paint in this way until you're happy with the result. Next, I mixed equal parts of Screaming Skull and Zendry Dust together for another dry brush layer. I applied this from the top down so as not to get the highlight everywhere on the barrier. Next, start off with Abaddon Black to paint the damaged parts. Fill all the holes with the black paint as well. Do the same, but don't be too neat for the cutaway blasted part by stippling the edges. You could also add some scratches by painting some black stripes first. Also paint the cut scratches.
Next we use the LED belcher. This doesn't necessarily have to be the air variant. Fill in all the black areas and don't fully cover them, just gently paint some metal on these areas and leave black shown on the edges. On the bigger damaged parts, you want to sort of dry brush the paint onto the black for the best looking effect. Finally you can pick out some details using Stormo Silver. Just add a little bit of paint in the middle of the damaged areas onto the already painted lead belcher color. Now you're ready to add some dirt. Do this by using a blister sponge. I mixed Sandry Dust and Abaddon Black in equal parts and stippled it onto the model as shown. The effect is subtle but really adds to the realistic look. I used Model Mate's Rust Effect to create this rust effect, but this is totally up to you. This is simply painted on and dries fairly quickly. There are plenty other ways to create rust such as Typhus Corrosion followed by Ryza Rust with a dry brush. Finally it looks something like this. Hey there, thanks for watching this video, we hope you liked it and be sure to subscribe if you did. Hit the notification bell to get updated and feel free to drop a comment below.